I need you to get out of the car, sir. There's a lot of misconceptions going on right now, and they've been going on for a while. So sometimes you need to be a part of it and seeing it from both sides and not just one side to understand that. So there's a citizen group here today. Uh, they're here because they want to learn more about why and how law enforcement officers have to do the job they do. Uh, today, we're going to put them through uh, several scenarios uh, through the V300 simulator. Put the gun down. We do train at a high level, a high standard to be able to de-escalate situations to hopefully end all as many as we can situations with less than deadly force. That would be the ultimate goal if possible. I am a community activist and I need to talk about different things that happen in the neighborhood. So by me going through this training, I will have my own knowledge. When you have questions and you come to the simulator like this, it's good to actually see what's going on. So I was very nervous because uh, you stumble in the words because you don't know exactly like what to say and what the machine is going to react and then you know what to expect. He's got a gun! Sir, I need to see your hands. It was, was really like a real realistic. You need to talk to the machine. Communication is key. Many times we come to these scenes and it's not any of our weapons that are able to solve the problem. It's very much our mouth, our, our verbal skills, our empathy, and hopefully talk them to a place where we can get them the help they need uh, if they need help. And we teach our recruits when we do our, our program how to do that through the simulator and through live live one-on-one -on -one scenarios with role players as well. That was just on film now, but if you in actuality didn't have to do this thing, my heart would probably be jumping out of my chest. I was able to see things from two, two sides of the coin. I, I, I still respect the officer and I respect the law, but uh, that is not a job for me.